Hey everyone, Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing a pair of wireless earbuds. It's this, right? So this is actually from Creative. It's called the Outlander Air version 2. So this is a, called the True Wireless Sweat Proof in Years with Touch Control. So it's also Super X5 ready, which is something uh, for Creative. So over here it says what is Super XF. X5 is actually recreate a professional multi-speaker system experience in your headphone. Personalize your headphone audio experience via the head and ear mapping process. Here sounds naturally like how it's meant to be heard. What are Super X5 ready headphones? Super X5 ready headphones are certified headphones that are specially tuned for optimal performance with apps such as the S. X5 app or devices that has built in Super X5 technology with Super X5 ready headphones you can enjoy a preview of Super X5 headphone holography on local content stored on your phone via SX5 app doesn't work with third party streaming apps such as Spotify, Tidal, YouTube and Netflix so you can download the app either on Apple, Google or In Yongbao right? this is probably China back so there are some of the features, it uses Bluetooth 5.0, it has uh, support Qualcomm, APTX, AAC, it's touch control, 34 hours total playtime, 12 hours per charge, wow, 12 hours. Graphene Diaphragm, I've uh, seen this before, this is actually on another local company, the Mini, and it's IPX5, waterproof and sweatproof rated, it works with Siri, Google Assistant, it has dual phone calls, dual phone calls, not too sure what is that. Right, so here is Manufacturer, Creative Labs, some of his offices across the world. Okay, let's look at this part, what are in the box, you have the earbuds, the different sizes of the second seal, the casing, USB-C, and then probably some documents at the bottom. Not too sure what they meant, but probably something at the top. Okay, let's open it up. There we go. Very nice presentation. Very straightforward. Love it. Here it says charge me first. So we should always charge the earbuds. Both the case and the earbuds first. Make sure the earbuds are firmly placed and the LD are glowing red before closing the charging case. Okay, first time pairing. You step one, step two, step three. This is something that we'll do later after we have charged them up fully. And then here you will see the product themselves. At the top are the both the earbuds, at the bottom it's the charging case and it's in a very nice blue colour. Let's take them out. Oh I love it. Okay, let's take out the casing. Oh it's metal. Wow. So how do I open it? Oh okay, push from the back here and it will pop up. Alright. Pushing pop in. Pop up. And then here you see three lights. This is for the case, battery, and this is left and right, and the USB C charging port. The name of the company, Creative, here at the bottom. Oh, there's some plastic. Okay, let's remove it. Let's not have any plastic get in our way. Right. And then it says here, charge me first. Okay, so let's take out the earbuds as well. I think there's a plastic covering it. Am I right? No, there's no plastic. Okay. Oh, but it's very very shiny it look like it's so shiny that i thought there's a plastic covering it okay so it's pretty huge as you can see here this is the side view it's pretty big all right and then the pogo pins the ear tip so you can seal it's of a different color all right nice and the logo the creative logo and then the earbuds LED light, it's a ring light, love it, always like this color. Okay, let's put it in. So it should go here. Take out the left, put it in. So it has turned red color. So according to the information is that we should charge them first. Let's plug it in. Oh, but before we do that, you will see here. So it lights up left and right, showing red color and the middle is green. But it's not very stable. Not too sure why it's like pulsing, probably representing low battery. Okay, let's plug in the USB C cable and see what happens. Okay, so immediately the color 
in the middle turns to red all three has turned to red they're like pulsing with the right still flashing red and blue not too sure why okay, let's put it up totally all right so now they they are both charging they are both pulsing now pulsing red color okay nice so let's close it because it says need to make sure that both are glowing led light before you close the case okay let's close it and we'll let's leave it to charge and see what happens after it's fully charged all right while the earbuds are actually charging with the case let's see what is at the bottom of this thing so when you open it up you'll see that there are more things i think this is actually the charging cable together with additional ear, the silicon seal, right? Anything in the bottom? Nothing, it's just a plastic. And then it says here, it says, read me first. Thank you and congratulations for embracing the magic of Super X5. Here's a simple setup guide to headphone holography. Okay, probably we'll do this later when the earbuds are already completely charged. We'll follow step one to step six. And then this is actually the quick start guide. Wow, it's very, very, Thick. So it's a lot of information about this one. First one, you can see the battery tells you what is happening, all the LED light, what it means. Next, what is this? Another very thick paperwork. The safety and regulatory information. Comment down below if you really go through all this kind of information because I don't really go through this. So yeah, so let's, we're gonna leave the earbuds to charge for a while because of the casing and then we see what happens when it's fully charged. Right, hi guys. So in this segment of the video, I'll be showing you how to connect the Creative V2, the, connect, the Creative Outlander V2 to an Android phone. So right now I have with me here is an Oppo Reno phone. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out whether is there any quick pairing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop out the earbud from the case. And we're gonna see. Anything. Let's see. Nope, nothing. So next thing we'll do, we're gonna take out the earbuds from the case and we and let's see the pairing. Alright, so let's refresh. Alright, so you should see popping up. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna just tap out any one of them. Right, so it says pairing connected, successful. So they're both connected. And you can see here, let's go to additional manual. This is what it has, contact sharing. And it's immediately the high quality audio is activated. You can see here it uses APTX. Right, so it seems like we can't really switch this off. You can see here, I mean, try and tap on it, it can't be switched off. Right, no worries. I mean, you'll just be using high quality audio all the way. All right, hi guys. So in this segment of the video, I'm going to be testing if there's going to be any um, audio leak from the wireless earbud of the Outlander version 2. And I have with me here is my trusty ears. Right, do comment down in the segment below what name should I be giving this. And uh, the most interesting one, I'll just use it. You know, for for now, I'll just call it the ears, all right? So I'm gonna be using the lavalier mic, which you see here in the camera, and I'll move it from the right to the left, and right, and then from left to the right to pick up um, any possible audio leaks at different audio level. So usually, I will actually start off with fifty percent, and then I'll work my way up all the way to a hundred percent. And the reason why I'm actually using this artificial ears is that um, I'm testing a lot of earbuds throughout um, throughout the year, the months and weeks. So I I mean I want to protect my ears right from it getting damaged. So that's the reason why I'm actually getting this. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be placing uh, the lavalier mic just about a few centimeters away, and let's start the first music. Hey. 
right? It's coming at 50% audio. Do let me know if it can actually hear any sound leak from the microphone, right? From the lavalier mic, which is on the right side right now. Now I'm actually going to move it to the left. Right, do let me know if you can pick up any sound leak. Currently it's on the left side. And I'm going to up the volume to around 60%. Now it's around 60% on the left side. Do let me know if you can hear any sound leak. Moving it to the right. Do let me know if you can hear any sound leak. I'm going to up it to 70%. Alright, so the audio level now is at 70%. On the right side, do let me know if you can hear any sound leak. Percent. Right, it's currently at eighty percent. Let me know if you can hear any sound leak. Pick up by the microphone. Moving it to the right side. Now I'm gonna up it to ninety percent. Now it's around 90% on the right side. Just for information, right now I'm actually about like 30 40 centimeters away from this artificial ear. I can start to hear some noise coming out, okay, from the earbuds, right? So do let me know if you can hear it from the right side. I'm now going to move it to the left. Okay, it's now starting a new track. Now it's at 90% volume level. Do let me know if you can hear anything from the left side. Next, I'm going to up it to max volume. Right, currently it's at max volume. You see here, max volume. Okay, do let me know if you can hear anything at maximum volume on the left side. Now moving on to the right side. Okay, do let me know if you can hear anything. And I'll bring it back down to 50%. Okay, so this has actually been a simple test, uh, a simple sound leak test, right? Do let me know in the comment section below if you can hear anything, all right? So I'll see you in the next one. All right, fellas, so this has actually been my unboxing and pairing and a simple sound leak test on the Creative Outlander version 2. I'm going to be doing a full review of this earbuds. So if you want to see the full review, do hit the like button and more importantly, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.